Okay, so we're going to have Animate Open. You will go to your new file. This is for our city landscape. You're going to double click New File and you're going to use HD 30 frames per second and we're going to do Action Script hit Create. We're going to keep our stage white. A few things about this timeline that I want to make sure you understand. You can make it smaller, see how I'm doing this, up and down, just by putting your mouse on the in-betweens of the timeline. So we're going to have a lot of layers on this one. You may want to do that. You can also drag this and make it bigger, like this. You need to have your properties open, your toolbar, and your timeline. Okay. So we're going to be working with several different layers. I'm going to start my first one, and I'm going to call it Sky. Just by double-clicking on it, call it Sky. Now, there's nothing in this, this area here, so I'm going to create my sky with my rectangle tool. I'm going to start from the, the left-hand corner and drag diagonally. And then I want to figure out some sort of sky color that will work well for daytime. I'm going to find a nice light blue. Click. This needs to be selected before I do that change. Make sure you select it. Use this tool up here to select and change. Okay. To make a new layer, you go up to New Layer. This one's going to be called Grass. Okay. So Sky is good, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn on my Lock for Sky. Okay, these are different things you can do. You can turn off visibility. You could turn on outline. Um, you're not going to really use this right away. And now we're going to go to grass. I'm going to change my color to a nice grass green. I'm going to again use my rectangle tool and I am going to make a green rectangle below my sky, filling up my box. If these things need to be readjusted, you can always go and click on your transform tool. If you need to make it bigger or smaller, um, depending on how well you stretch out that rectangle, um, you can also change the numbers. So you can see the height is 220, the width is 1280. So you can change all that. And then I'm going to lock my grass. I'm then going to make a new, another new layer, and I'm going to call this one Skyline. Okay. So on this layer, I'm going to change it to black. I'm going to make rectangles of all different sizes, and they're going to start in the sky, and they're going to end at the beginning of the grass. And you can join them together. You could make some of them separate. Um, you can make some of them tall and skinny. And you can make, yeah, I'm gonna make a little short fat one here. Okay, it's up to you what your city looks like. Keep it simple. I'm creating some space because as you know, we're gonna have a sun setting here, so I kinda wanna be able to change that as we go along. And that's the end. That's going to be my study. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to call it Sun. I'm going to change that. Oops. Lock your skyline. I'm going to change that to a yellow color for my sun. And then I'm going to go to my oval tool and I'm going to make a sun. Notice my stroke has been off for all this, by the way. I'm sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. If your stroke is on, you can click on any of these and reselect it and take your stroke off. So you click on here, it's locked, unlock it, click on here, and just make sure that your stroke is off and that your, your color is correct, okay? And then lock it. No strokes for any of these things because when we tween them, we don't want the stroke to separate from our shape. Back to the sun. Okay, I'm going to go to my oval tool. I'm going to make sure that my stroke is off. 
I'm going to hold down shift so I have a perfect circle. I'm going to leave my sun there. Now I'm going to lock that layer. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to frame 300 and I'm going to start with my sky layer and I'm going to click on frame 300. I'm going to control and I'm going to insert frame. Okay, so my sky has now been extended to the 10 second mark and then I'm going to go to the same frame and if you leave your scrub bar on this part, it'll be easier for you to find where to insert your frame. Not keyframes, frames. Okay, insert frame. Now we're going to do, we can't see our sun anymore because it doesn't stay there the whole time. I'm going to go back to my sun layer. I'm going to unlock it and then I'm going to go to frame 70 and I'm going to insert keyframe there. So that brings that sun there. And now remember we're making a setting sun. I'm going to go to frame 130-ish, your choice. And I'm going to insert another keyframe. Okay. So for this keyframe, I'm not changing 70. 70 is going to stay the same as the original sun. I'm going to go to frame 130, and this is the one I'm going to change. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it so this to an area where I want that sun to set. I'm also going to transform it because as the sun sets in the sky, it gets larger. I'm going to make it larger. I'm also going to make sure it drags below everything. And then I'm going to change the color. I'm going to give it like a reddish orange color. So two things are going to change here. The position, actually three things, the position, the color, and the size. Then you click on any layer in between. You right click or you go up to insert and you're going to create a shape tween. So now this is all great. But notice the sun is on top of my buildings and my grass. So I don't want it to be behind my sky, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to change my layer order. So I click on sun, I drag it below my skyline and below my grass, but not below my sky. And then I hit lock. So now when I hit play, my sun moves and it sets. Anything that's off stage, don't worry about. So you saw how that sun like hung out at the bottom. It, it was off stage. Don't worry about it. Next thing I'm going to change, I'm going to make a change in my sky. So I'm going to take my scrub bar. I'm going to figure out where I want my sky to start changing color. And it's still pretty bright here. I think about here. I'm going to Hold and I'm going to insert after I unlock this frame. I'm going to insert, remember to unlock, and then I'm going to insert a keyframe. And then I'm going to go a little bit past the sun. And I'm going to click insert keyframe. And on this layer here, I'm going to go and check my color. I'm going to find a nice dark blue. I don't want it to be black. I want it to be like a dark blue because I still want to see my buildings. And I'm going to click. And then I'm going to click any frame in between. Right click. And I'm going to create shape tween. So now I have my sun setting and my sky is also turning. So look how bright my grass looks. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on my grass layer and I'm going to insert keyframe and then I'm going to insert another keyframe about the same place where the sky becomes really dark. Okay, and then I'm going to unlock my grass, lock my sky, I'm going to click on this second keyframe. That's the only one we're changing. And I'm going to find a nice dark color for my grass to change to. 
Then I'm going to click on any frame in between and I'm going to create shape twin. So when I do this, now I have my grass is turning as well. It should look something like this as you're going. And my grass did not turn. It did, but it turned later on. I see what's happening here. I have another keyframe there. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to change that keyframe to here. There we go. And we should be good. There it goes. Now my grass is turning. Learn by Miss Kelly's mistakes. So everyone should have something that looks like this at this point. And if you don't, you can catch up or you can follow this video. All right, let's call this one part one, and then we're going to start part two, and we're going to start our sky, our night sky.